Alright guys, so yesterday I did get that clownfish, the Clarky clownfish, and when I put him in, all my lights were off, so I couldn't record him to show you what he looks like, but I'm going to show you him now since the lights are on. He is beautiful, and I'm just super happy that I got him, so let me show so you this him. is the new clownfish that I got, this yellow one right here, right here, this is a Clarky clownfish. He is beautiful, and I know, I, yes, I have three clownfish in here, and it's not advised to have more than two, like a pair, but it's working for now, and if it doesn't, I can always set up one of my smaller five-gallon tanks for this guy or whoever needs it. But for now, it's looking really great. Anyways, um, yeah, he's doing fantastic in here. The big orange guy isn't really messing with him as much at all. He's mostly messing with a smaller guy over here, but this yellow guy, I think he might be the boss of the tank later on, or... He's just not really getting picked on because of his size, but he is a perfect addition to here. He is beautiful, and I got him for $18, guys, which is honestly, I feel like, a steal, especially for this type of clownfish. He is so cute, and he's beautiful, and he's the biggest fish in my tank right now. So I have three clownfish in here, and then that small, I think that's a damsel or something. And then I also did get that a second red shrimp in here, which is kind of probably hiding in the back over here the other the enemy down there oh my god i really need to get some rocks to add to here but he's i think hiding somewhere in the cracks of the aquarium here I'm trying to see if i can spot him hiding somewhere but yeah i think um this is turning out great to be honest i'm just in love just definitely need to get a couple more rocks and then you know this will slowly come together nicely but I'm loving it even this guy he he has taken over this coral right here because he likes it so it's like his little see this little home this clownfish is kind of a dick not gonna lie so hopefully he chills out and leaves a little guy alone but we'll see He's so beautiful I love him don't want to scare him. Okay, guys, you're going to see my reflection here, but that's, I guess it's fine. Um, I just fed some of the, what is that called? The frozen food? I can't think of the damn name right now. I think it's my sister shrimp or something like that. But I just fed it in the tank to these guys. So hopefully they'll munch it all up quickly here. So it looks like the new guy is eating, so that's fantastic. Oh, look, the shrimp has come out. If you can see him in the back corner over there, he's come out to try to eat something. I wonder where the second shrimp is. Oh, he's in the very back over there, too. So, yeah, they came out of the rocks. And I did notice my, my bigger Aptasia over here is completely gone. So, hopefully, either... Because I put a little bit of lemon juice to try to kill it. Because I told that sometimes that helps. And it didn't seem to do fine that when I tried it. But then after... Like, it appeared the very next day. And after I added this shrimp, it's not no longer here anymore. Or at least I don't see it. Either it's hiding inside the rocks or it's just passed on either from me putting the little lemon juice in there or maybe the shrimp kind of pecked at it who knows but look at this guy he is liking his tank he's eating like a pro so that's fantastic look how cute they are so yeah he loves his little coral right here Yeah, I must say I love this tank. So far, it's looking pretty great. Here are both of the shrimp. They're cute. They're looking for food since I just dropped um, some ice shrimp. I'm going to drop a little bit of pellets for them to go and eat it. It's just so that they can have a little bit of something here. But they're looking good. This is a side view of the tank. The back is semi-dirty. I need to like scrub it, but it's not too bad. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Everything's looking amazing. I'm so freaking happy for this clownfish. It seems like these two might end up mating together, but who really knows? Because he's not messing with the big guy. So we're at my 55, and I have a little bit of the um, my sis shrimp left. So I think what I'm going to do is just feed it to these guys. They're going to love it. They're looking cute as ever. I did add my um, platies in here. 
and I think only one of them is alive, which is the male. Which, you know what, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. <sighs> Survival of the greatest sometimes, I feel like. So I'm going to just drop all this in here, and the fish will just scoop it up and eat it. And voila. Oops, don't mean not, did not mean to scare the guy. I feel like I can't speak English anymore. Here they are. See ya. That's the uh, that's the platy. I meant the sore tails. I added both orange ones, but only the male is alive, so mm, whatever. But this is looking good in here. Everybody's looking fantastic. Look at him, cute as ever. Junior is eating. So check a boy. These tanks. I added back the regular lighting on here, as you guys can see. Regular lighting back on here, just for now, temporarily. And hopefully it'll give the tank and the plants a little bit of a break versus the hardcore lighting that I had on here. Regular lighting as well, the one that came with the tank. I think it's looking quite nice. Got this beta here. I was going to take home another beta, like a, bu a blue one yesterday. But I just decided I'll wait. I'll wait before taking another one. Don't mind this lemon juice here. It's what I use to try to kill the Aptasia in my tank. So we're in the backyard. I want to show you the little plants we planted. Just these little guys here, here, and there. And they're also right there, right there, right there. They're so cute. There's a whole bunch more smells I'll show you in a second. And then over here, I planted a few of my succulents. These were outside and they seem to be doing much better outside, so move them they were in front of the house and i moved them back here to the backyard i had my other succulents here so i'm gonna need to get more succulents and put them here there's another one here this is a dead one but hopefully it'll come to life um there's another succulent there and then we also did add these cooler little cute little things here i don't know what you would call those i did plant another one in the corner there so that i can fall into the pond but over here we have the other flowers that we planted here 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 of course junior is in the way and here so that's looking pretty awesome and look at that rose guys it's freaking beautiful over there i love it we also did get paint white paint to paint this garage so i'm gonna do that maybe when my mom comes home i'll paint this garage here because i don't know where she has a paint at just a white paint gotta scrub it and clean it of course but yeah these are the flowers that we have planted here I think it's looking pretty great uh, for this I moved a little iron bridge and uh, still need to get flowers and stuff for that but eventually we'll get that I need to put some water for the chickens so just give me a second. here is a close-up of this flower it is very pretty kind of reminds me of like kind of a feather in a way or like a little Christmas tree it's really pretty They've got the orange kinds, we've got yellow, and we've got these like purplish looking ones and red ones. They've got all kinds. That one's really pretty too. So we planted these along here, and hopefully, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be my sunflower or not, but I hope my sunflowers do grow because it's really pretty. And, and you also can see over there we added the others as well. And I'm loving this white flower. It is really pretty. This is also pretty too. These like purple ones. They're kind of cool. Come on, Junior. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love fish and I'm always gonna buy some if I have uh, time and if there's anything interesting at the pet store. Sometimes I just like to look, go to the store and just browse, but sometimes I just end up getting something. Sometimes I don't, but most of the time, usually I do. I love fish and. I love getting them and I love owning them and I think I will always have pet fish. It's like people who know me know that I am obsessed with fish. Gosh, I feel like I can't even like film properly today or even hold the camera correctly. Yeah, I'm waiting for my hair to dry here and I just want to do an outro before I forget because I feel like sometimes I don't even do an outro and that's not good. So yeah, love you guys and I'll see you all in the next video.